Amazing. And the votes have been cast. And the vast majority have been counted. And the people of America have spoken. And it now appears clear that former Vice President Joe Biden is the president-elect. And Kamala Harris, Madam Vice President-elect, to become the 46th president in that administration. And we begin anew the work of repairing the frayed fabric of our common life. And we pray for a peaceful transition of power. And whether you identify as a Republican or Democrat or independent or none of these, in this moment, I think it is important to acknowledge this historical moment of having first having elected the first woman to the second highest office in our country. Not just any woman, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris, daughter of Jamaican and Indian immigrants, represents the intersectionality of all women and people of color who have experienced oppression since the beginning of our country and still do to this day. And we are only as strong and healthy as our most oppressed peoples. And for that, this is a day to celebrate. We also pray for healing, healing from the deep divisions that have racked our nations for far too long. Even before the 2016 election, we were a deeply divided nation, divided by prejudice, fear, and economic insecurity. And so we pray that we as a nation will embrace racial, economic, and social justice as we move forward. May God, in God's mercy, bless our community and our nation to experience a peaceful transition of power, to grant us grace in these times of conflict, to help these new leaders and the administration to lead with calm and confidence that can reduce the rampant anxiety that afflicts us all. We offer our prayers for wisdom, grace, and the certain knowledge of God's presence in the difficult world work ahead. We pray for this nation and for our leaders. We pray for patience and endurance. We pray that as we move forward, no one is left behind. We pray that in all we do, we may be guided by the prophet's call to do justice, to love mercy, to walk humbly with our God. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family throughout the world. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. On Wednesday, November 11th, we will be celebrating Veterans Day. We're honoring veterans among us. Um, and if we were gathering in our, in our sanctuary, I'd invite those who have served um, in uniform and in, un, um, and in uniformed service, uh, to stand or to come to the front so we could um, pray with you and give our thanks to you. Um, but since we are not gathered in that way, um, I invite you to say something in the chat, or perhaps we can name one another, and um, some people are going to be named multiple times by others. Um, and God and God's grace, we will, we will collect all the names. Um, in this congregation and um, those whom we know as well. Let us move into a litany for our veterans. I will read the light print and I invite you to join Marilyn in reading the bold print. God of peace and justice, it is your will for the world that we may live together in peace. You have promised through the prophet Isaiah that one day, Swords will be beaten into plowshares. We have not yet fully lived into that day. Let us recognize with humility and sadness the tragic loss of life that comes in war. And let us give thanks for those who have served with courage and honor. 
Almighty God, we commend those who serve. Let all soldiers, Marine sailors, those who serve in the Air Force, Coast Guard, Uniformed Service, and National Guard serve with honor, pride, and compassion. Do not let their hearts become hardened. Strengthen their families. Keep them surrounded in your love and peace. We honor them for their faithful service to our country and for what they have done to defend and preserve our freedom. Generation after generation, there are those who have answered our country's call and their lives have been changed forever. May we never forget what our country has asked of them and what they have given in return. We are grateful to all who have served, whether in peacetime or in conflict. But today we especially remember those who continue to bear wounds of the body or the spirit as a result of what they endured. We pray for those who suffer from post-traumatic stress and those who yearn for peace in their souls. We give thanks for those that have served in the military and uniformed service. We thank you for those who put the welfare of others ahead of their own safety. Let us all be inspired by their self-sacrifice in service to those who needed protection. We ask that you comfort those that still feel the pain of their loss. Keep us mindful that you have promised to comfort those that mourn. Let us honor those who have served by working for peace. Amen. <laughs>